Somewhere in the middle of this one. Thank you. 
couple of tunes before his set. Give it up for Chris Tukarski.
We'd now like to present a Thelonious Monk composition entitled Rhythm and Ning. Rhythm and Ning.
We're going to play one more tune for y'all and then give it over to the Chris Tokarski Trio. This last one is a Bud Powell composition entitled Hallucinations. Thank you, and stick around for the Chris Tukarski Trio.
thinking about that all day today. And I'm like, what you thinking? Because you mean you mean. Yeah. Eric Merchant's uh, student combo. I thought they were great. Very tight. Very tight. And uh, I'm going to give this opportunity to give a shout out to Gary Edwards. Uh, Gary passed away a couple of weeks ago, but those of you that didn't know him directly knew who he was because he was 
came to the sandbar a lot. And uh, we're going to miss Gary. Uh, he, uh, some people didn't really know how vast his background was, but he was a Renaissance man in uh, the New Orleans music community, had his own uh, music store. He was the sound guy for years and years over the Blue Room at the Fairmont Hotel. And uh, he took a lot of artists, design harmonizers, and had lots of uh, New Orleans artists off to Europe, uh, particularly in uh, Italy. And, uh, and we love him and we miss him. So he's going to be having a service on Saturday at 1 o'clock at 5200 Canal Boulevard. If you all knew him, you can come by and pay your respects. Thank you, Gary, for being here with us. All right. We have quite the trio here. Um, Chris has got some powerhouses with him. And uh, hey, you have to have powerhouses to come up to the level that Chris is at. Why? Because he went to the UNO Jazz Studies program. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Don't forget it. So give it up for Hal Smith over here on the drums. <laughs> the applicable Tim Laughlin is on the clarinet. And give it up for the man of the hour, Chris Katarski and his trio.
Thank you, thank you. It is good to be back here at UNO, especially in my favorite place on campus, the University Bar. Did a lot of studying here. How about a hand once more for Tim Lachlan on the clarinet? And the great Hal Smith on drums. And uh, today we're honoring Jelly Roll Morton on his birthday. He was born probably today. There's some speculation about his date, uh, birth date, also his birth year, probably 1890. And uh, of course, Jelly was uh, New Orleans, or the, the, he was from New Orleans and uh, the first great jazz pianist, jazz composer, jazz arranger from here. And uh, that first tune was called Froggy Moore Rag. And uh, you might be wondering, why is it called Froggy Moore Rag? And uh, Jelly worked in vaudeville for years, and he worked with a contortionist named Froggy Moore, who dressed up as a frog for his act, and he named it after him. So try and get that out of your head now. <laughs> We're going to continue on with uh, one he wrote called Grandpa's Spells.
Thanks very much. It's called Grandpa's Spells. All right, we'll carry on with a uh, pop tune that Jelly Roll wrote called, what was it? Sweet Substitute.
sweet substitute. All right, we're going to carry on now with one of Jelly's masterpieces. This is one he wrote when he was down in Tijuana, Mexico, working at the Kansas City Bar, and he wrote this for a waitress there, apparently. This is called The Pearls.
Thanks very much. All right, pep it up a little bit with uh, one of Jelly's more popular tunes. This was called The Wolverine Blues. Thank you. 
All right, the Wolverine Blues. Going to give the guys a short break here and uh, play a piano solo or two. Jelly, of course, made some excellent solo piano records. And uh, I think the first one I'm going to do is something he called the Crave, which is a great example of the Spanish tinge. This is kind of an element of the music that he thought was necessary to playing uh, real New Orleans jazz. So this is called The Crave. It's a new one to me, so I'm going to try it out on you. This is called Pep.
thanks very much. That's my pep. Bring the guys back up. Slow it back down with another pop tune that uh, Jelly wrote. He wasn't really credited with it, I don't think, on the publishing, but uh, he claims he wrote it. This is called Someday Sweetheart.
Thank you very much. All right. We're going to do another one that uh, Jelly wrote, wrote at that Kansas City bar. And this is called The Kansas City Stomps. He didn't write it for the city. He wrote it for the bar.
Thank you. That's the Kansas City Stops. Got time for a couple more here. About one that uh, Jelly talked about on the Library of Congress records as coming from Buddy Bolden. And so this goes way back to New Orleans's first jazz man, supposedly. And uh, this is something that Morton called the Buddy Bolden Blues. And it was a, a tune that uh, Buddy Bolden called Funky Butt, named after the Funky Butt Hall.
Thank you so much. How about a hand once more for Tim Lachlan on the clarinet. And Hal Smith on the drums. And I just want to say thank you to UNO, our sponsors, of course, Jason Patterson and the whole team here for inviting me back. I didn't know I was allowed back. But thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> and we're going to wrap things up with uh, a tune that is uh, hotly debated on who wrote this. Of course, Morton entered the debate and claims he wrote it. And this is a, a classic here. I'm sure everyone here knows the Tiger Rag. Thank you. 
Al Smith, Tim Watkins, and Chris Tukarski. Thank you so much. <laughs>